What's up, Desiree? All right, man, we're here. So you, we wanted, are here. To, you wanted to interview me. This has been long awaited. You um, are taking over my video. Excuse oh, I'm sorry. Me. Okay, sorry, sorry. I always, always wanted to be a YouTube blogger, but I don't have the time. But one day, Des is going to show me her secret ways. But I'll chill out. Okay. All right. What's up? I'm Des, if you don't know. I okay. am Mr. Downs. This I is am. my actual principal. Absolutely. And we're here at our school, and we are going to do a little interview. So Des yep. has some questions for me. I'm in the hot seat. Let's get started. Cool. <clears throat> Maybe I should take my IQ off, actually. Yeah. <laughs> I'm out of dress code. Yeah, she is. This is not tolerated typically, but we'll let it go because we're after school. Okay. What was your first impression of me? Wow. So um, I remember, um, so I was actually, I got the chance to come to um, Desiree's Middle School oh, yeah. before. Um, I was their high school principal, and so I spent a year kind of getting to know the students and kind of just thinking about what we were going to do once we actually started our school. And um, I just remember Desiree being a student full of ideas and just super bubbly. Um, she was, I knew right away um, that she was going to be a student who was dedicated and really, you know, out to get the best out of her education, but also get the best out of, uh, you know, life. Um, I just remember even her talking about her YouTube channel and all the things as an eighth grader um, and then being able to actually see those things come to fruition and then start seeing her video. I am a subscriber. Um, so, um, you know, seeing her do that, I just always have an admiration for people who I see following their dreams and actually putting, like not just talking about ideas, but actually doing it. And that's somebody, when my first impression of Desiree was she's a kid who's a go-getter and she's gonna be successful. So, oh, yeah, 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 you don't get to be more of those. So that's, uh, that, that's your compliment for today. Her, for today. Her ego is now <laughs> here, but no, it's all good. What was your first impression of my mom? Man, let me tell you something about Desiree's mom. She don't play. All right. I, uh, I, as a principal, I really appreciate parents who, uh, I mean, they hold the school accountable, they hold their kids accountable. And I, I, I don't recall if this was the first time, but the first memory I have of my, of Desiree's mom, it wasn't necessarily a positive interaction mm -hmm. because Desiree's mom, let me tell you something. If something's going wrong with Desiree or something's going wrong in school, she's going to text you. She's going to call you. She's going to come up. She's going to be here. And so um, I just remember um, there was an instance, and I don't know exactly what happened, but before, I'm talking butt crack of dawn, I got a text. And I'm like, who is this? And then when I got to school, her mom was here, and man, she was not playing games. She wanted to make sure. I think Desiree had an issue with her social studies teacher at the time. Um, I'm not gonna say his name, but um, she was here. Um, oh, you're talking, about, oh you're talking about ninth grade. Yeah, yeah, I think it was in ninth grade. Okay. And um, she, our mom came up here, man, and Desiree's mom was not playing. But I knew she was a mom who cared. I knew she's a teacher too, which I think is a really, really good thing because. As educators, I know for me, I want to have a school that I want my kids to go to. So knowing that another educator wants her daughter to come to my school, I think is a, a privilege. And so I want to make sure that we're doing everything on our part to make sure that her daughter is supported. And all, as, as are all the kids, but her mom does not play. Man, she got me all the way together. And I was my first year as a principal, but I learned a lot. I still learned a lot from this race mom. I'm, um, you know, we, you know, we good. But um, it's, uh, it was definitely quite an experience. But Desiree's mom doesn't play, which uh, makes me understand why Desiree is the way that she is, because she has an awesome mom who definitely loves her and supports her, but isn't afraid to hold her accountable. Mm -hmm. What do you think is my best trait? I got two that come to mind. I already said the one about her being like a go-getter, and Desiree does what she says she's going to do. You don't see that in a lot of kids, but I think that's something that I admire about you, and I think that's going to get you a long way in life. The other thing that I really like about Desiree, she isn't, I've definitely seen times where she is not like this, but most of the time, 95% of the time, even when I'm like in the worst mood, Desiree like is smiling down the hallway. She is super positive. She's like, hey, like she comes to ask a question. Even like, you know how sometimes like you're frustrated about something or somebody like just made you mad, but then you see somebody and they're like all bubbly and you're like, man, you know what? I can't even be mad anymore. I think Desiree's uh, positivity that she brings, she's just like a big ray of light that she shares to people. Um, I know sometimes she's super hard on herself. I don't know. Y'all might not know. I the, really am. Y'all might not know the real Des, um, <laughs> but sometimes you know she has moments where she like you know is isn't always bubbly, and I've seen her and supported mm -hmm. that. But most of the time, you're gonna get a bubbly, 
supportive, positive person. And I just wish I could like radiate that energy sometimes because sometimes running a school and working with people is frustrating, but there's always always a positivity, a positive light that comes around. So it's always good to have it around. Thank you. And I will say that um, on the days where I'm like not okay, or just like dealing with some stuff, mm -hmm. like you are very supportive. Well, thank you. You make it yeah. a point to be like, it's okay, I got you. If you like need to like take a break or like go sit out of class or whatever and then yeah. come back, that's fine. Well, thank you. But yeah, she's super positive. That's very awesome. I always get this one. There you go. Yep. What do you think is my worst trait? I think it is that she's super hard on herself. I okay. think Desiree has, and everybody goes through this, I think when you're growing up. You have this perception of yourself, and then you have what is the reality. And sometimes when we think about, you got to think about a student who's super successful, really trying to make her name for herself, figure out what she wants to do in life. Um, has all these dreams and aspirations and I think you're really trying to figure that out but you really want your you put this expectation of perfection on yourself that sometimes causes you to question be super hard on yourself when you're not even like 18 you're still in high school you can make some mistakes you can lighten up you're gonna make mistakes but you're gonna learn from them I think you're using your best quality which is you know you're gonna get stuff done you know you're gonna make a way you shouldn't don't let the mistakes you make or, you know, not always being perfect, like hold you back. Like, it's okay to make a mistake from time to time. And you don't have to beat yourself up every time that happens. Cause trust me, whatever we do in this life, we're gonna make a mistake, but you're gonna learn from it and you're gonna be better from it. So just keep that in mind. So you're not so hard on yourself. What do you think is my current GPA? So I wish it was a 4.0. I wish to. Uh, yeah, but, <laughs> but I know that you are, um, I, I would say you're probably somewhere around a 3.5. If I had to guess, I think that's probably accurate of where you are. Um, I know that I know that you're not in the bottom because I would be on you and your mama would be up here. So you got to be doing well. So I'll say somewhere around a three five. Yeah, it's actually last time I checked, it's three point six. Like three point six. Okay, cool, cool. That's what's up. So I knew you were up there. Okay. I also just got accepted into the National Honor Society. Yeah, so we're gotta, out of yeah. Um, that's what's up. She's gonna be. I'm telling you, you gotta watch this girl. She's gonna be doing some big things. Do you actually like my videos? I do. I think my favorite video, um, you, the, you my, some of you guys may think it's corny. I really like the one where you got your mom the Beyonce tickets. I think it's awesome that you uh, want to share, like, one, your life and your family with people, and that your mom is even willing to be in your videos. I think that's just all oh, yeah. thing too. She, but, that's her least favorite. Yeah, okay, gotcha. Them. But I think it's cool that you and your brother like thought enough about your mom and wanted to celebrate her in that way. I always love it when kids like show their thanks to their parents. And so seeing your mom like get the Beyonce tickets and like just being excited about that, I thought it was awesome. Yep. But I just want to say that we didn't buy the tickets. My aunt bought. The hey, well, you still you still made the point to celebrate her, so that's awesome. But yeah. Yep. I also love the video. I rewatch it. Okay. And I get so happy. Yeah. So happy. Her mom is super excited and happy in it. So it, it's, a, it's a really feel good video. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You should watch it if you have it. Yeah. Watch link it, it down below. Watch all her videos. Sometimes she talks too much and I have to like <laughs> press the fast forward a little bit. But other than that, she has some good videos. Right. Well, you, you already answered this one. But it was, do you think I'll be successful? But you already said earlier that. Desiree is going to be successful, guys. I'm telling you, watch subscribe get a front row seat to like what is going to happen she's just getting started um i'm excited about her future she's going to be awesome thank you thank you in like 10 years will you be like i knew her listen 10 years from now i'm gonna be like i got the first official desiree interview back in the day when she was walking around with a tripod <laughs> in her backpack and so um just don't um just don't do me like gail king did r kelly like get some good stuff for when you come <laughs> interview me later on in life you know <laughs> Bring the little people up with you. I, I will try. All right, cool. Try. Do you have any advice to give me? I think that you need to, I think of any advice I would give you is just one, you have a great head on your shoulders. You have a, a bright future ahead of yourself. Now is the time. We live in a society where you can literally do whatever you want to do. Like think about the fact that you have a YouTube channel where anybody in the world can like check out your content and produce it. The fact that you're even doing that now. Don't be afraid to follow your dreams. I see you talk about your YouTube channel and you you, you say it's not like your favorite thing to do or isn't like all that, but I yeah, think it's that not it's not number one, but I think all the skill sets that you are 
building are preparing you for an awesome opportunity in the future. So continue to be not be afraid to like dive into things. Continue to not try things and push yourself out of your comfort zone because man, the skill sets that you have, the ability to like produce this content, edit these videos, and it's as how smart as you are and the opportunities that you seek out, you are going to set yourself up for a lifetime of opportunities and greatness coming to you. So just be open and willing to that and never let yourself think there's something that you can't do. Because you, I don't know, you should, by what you've accomplished already, you should continually prove to yourself, man, I can do this and I'm worthy of whatever it is that I desire. So keep pushing for that. I also just want to clarify, I know I said YouTube isn't my number one, it's my number two. I yeah, she loves YouTube, but she does have some other passions, and I'm sure she'll share more about that with you guys later. I want to be a poet. So, I think she can do it all. So, but follow your dreams. You want to be a poet, go out there and be the best poet. Use this channel as a venue to put your work out there and do what you got to do. But she's going to be great, guys. Okay. Okay, these last two are just like, they're easy for you. Okay, cool. Okay. Let's go. How's your dog? Man, so I have a dog. He's a lab mixed with a pit bull. He's uh, editing. He, <laughs> his name is Luke Cage. Um, obviously, you can see why. Um, but he's doing really well. So um, I actually went to, we just got back from spring break, and mm -hmm. so I went to San Diego. And I put him in this boarding place. I'm not going to say the name, um, but he got pink eye. And I didn't even know dogs could get pink eye. But, man, I was, like, really, really upset. My girlfriend, she actually picked this place, so she was, like, really freaking out because she felt really bad he had pink eye. But I had to, like, get the ointment. And, you know, have you ever had pink eye? Yes. And, you know, they give, they give humans eye drops, mm -hmm. but they don't give that to dogs. I actually got this ointment that I had to hold him. I had to literally put my legs around him, hold his eye open, and rub the inside of his eye with the ointment twice a day for five days in order for the infection to go away. So, um, but he's on the mend now. Um, he's doing really, really well, and I'm excited that he's doing better. But I love my dog. He's a great dog. So he brought his dog to school a couple times. Yeah, I actually we have Saturday school tomorrow. I think I might bring him. So, mm -hmm. but he's doing well. Remember that one time I was late because I was petting your dog. Yes, I do. And I was like, guys, go to class. Yeah, he literally was like, go to class, Desiree. Yeah. I was like, but it's so cute. And then I was late. Lastly, okay. and most importantly, honestly, do you remember? that you owe me cake on my birthday. Desiree, you know what? I ain't gonna lie. I forgot, but I do remember making that promise. So, YouTube world, hear me out. When is your birthday? May 16th. May 16th, I'll make up for it. We're gonna have a Desiree cake here. She can film it, she can record it. It's on tape. <laughs> we, oh yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> We're gonna have a, a, a cake here. And uh, to celebrate you, because that's my bad. I forgot. Yeah. All right. Okay. Well, guys, thank you for the interview. That was my pencil. Cool. Um, yeah. He had a meeting that, oh my gosh. <laughs> my phone was like, okay. He had a meeting to you too, as you know, but that was my actual purpose. That was my actual principal. I wasn't expecting to be so nice. Um, I was expecting good things. No, I I am a great person. <laughs> wow, I sound like I sound so self centered. I'm a great person, but um, really though, I wasn't expecting him to be so nice. But yeah, he, he he's a cool dude. He's a cool dude. I know like a lot of people like their principal like they don't see the principal or they don't like know the principal or whatever. Uh, yeah, my, he's, he's, he's not like other principals I've had, but I've had had some, I've had luck with like school, just like in general, but, um, he's one of the most like involved principals I know, like he, um, we have things called family gatherings like at my school or whatever, and like it's for every grade, but then they all, we also have like a school at one, um, he goes to like a lot of those just to like sit there he we see him in the hallway all the time like during passing period he just stands there and like gets talking to students and stuff um when the bell rings and it's time for everyone to like go outside so like the bus he's typically standing there like outside with us he's a cool dude he's never and he's also not scary like i know a lot of people may see like their principal as like this scary person that like is like you only talk to them when like you're in trouble and like they're gonna expel you or whatever. And as you can see, he's 
He's a cool dude. And honestly, he pays attention more than what I thought he did. Um, I didn't know that he knew that I'm too hard on myself. So either that's really obvious or he pays attention. Um, which may be a little bit of both, to be like real, real. So yeah, if you want me to interview my teachers or the dean of students, I can, I, I can interview them too. Yep, okay. But really though, I decided to do this video because not only would it make me look like amazing, no, I'm kidding, but because I, first of all, I've never seen anyone do this. All the other YouTubers that I have seen that are like in high school never show like their school and never show admin from their school. Like they don't typically tell admin from their school anyway, but I felt like it's something that's never been done before and it's, it, it brings, what's the word I am thinking of? Awareness, awareness to what I feel like a good principal looks like. Um, so yeah, and yes, I also did make him subscribe. I also made my teacher subscribe and the dean of students subscribe. Well, I didn't make them, but I continuously bothered them until they subscribed. So persistence is key. I'm telling you. I also just want to say, like, genuinely, please, like, please click the like button. I like you have no idea, like. I didn't think a camera and a tripod would be like, make my backpack significantly heavier, but like, it did. Um, so yeah. And also, like, I ride the bus. Like, do you know how heavy my backpack is? Like, getting to school, like, on the bus at 5 a.m.? Like, gosh. Um, but yeah. But also, if you want to, like, uh, I'm thinking about maybe doing the on my way to school, get ready to me. If, if you want to see that, like, and comment down below. What do you think about your principal? Do you like them? Do you not like them? Are they cool? Are they boring? Do you never see them? Do you not even know who they are? Um, okay, I'm, I'm done rambling. It's over. Hey, how you doing? Well, I'm doing just fine. I lied. I'm dying inside.